Right, hey, what's up, everyone? Here we are, hole three. I'm gonna take another look at this using the uh, you know the free to play guide with the uh, Kingmaker balls. You know, turn balls I can win for free in the tournament here. Now, um, if you checked out my other guide, oh, this so this is a good win. This is exactly kind of what I wanted to talk about. So. I went power four last time. That makes it very easy to get this um, up into the fairway each and every time. Now, when we have to back down the power three balls, you almost have to play it win specific because a 10 maybe clips that rough, but I do feel pretty good about this 12. So I didn't know if I was gonna bring a top spin Thor shot or if I was gonna be able to go launch here. So we are going to go and just go for this because I do believe with a 12 wind, which I believe I'm about to get here, judging that my opponent had a 19 wind, that I should be able to get a 12. So that's why you do see, you know, I may go with this shot from time to time. This is not going to be one of those times, though. So I'm going to switch the bags. However, keep in mind that I'm, I'm going to have Guardian and Tsunami no matter what. Those are going to be kind of what I like here. And I'm thinking, you know, maybe five and a half top spin in this case. And I'm thinking, you know, it's going to land about 10 rings down, give or take. So I'm looking, you know, 10 rings down. It's going to barely creep onto this fairway. But I do believe with a 12 we'll get there. Oh, that is a great ball off to the left. So hopefully that doesn't haunt me too much. As you can see, it is leaking. But... We are good, and that's one of the main reasons I create all that right spin. And we should be up here far enough. The only reason we bring Guardian is in the event that we maybe clip that rough. Or similarly, if I have to do that Thor's Hammer top spin shot, anytime that I land in the fairway like that, we should be in th Tsunami range. So, you know, keep in mind, as, as long as Tsunami has... Um, 100 backspin or you know is is really at that level I, I i don't care what the ball guide looks like i don't need ball guide to make the shot so that's one of the it, it doesn't matter if i'm bringing a tsunami whatever four three um where, wherever it hits 100 that that's kind of the point that's all i care about i can make this with a five i can make it with a six i can make it with a seven keep in mind the only one that's going to be different is the seven. That's where the accuracy changes. So it should be the same ring adjustment with a five and a six. So this one is a tsunami five. You can see. Um, now one of the things I'm, I'm I'm a little bit farther than I was in my last guide. So if I played two per ring in the last one, I'm going to need. And another thing, you're going to see that I'm going to kind of shorten that ball guide. So I am going to put it more off towards the side. In this case as opposed to behind like I did last time so last time I did behind this time I'm gonna do more to the side but I am thinking you know somewhere in the neighborhood of five five and a half on the ring adjustment so maybe five and a quarter make sure that I don't add any additional power again I catch a great ball ring adjustment looks pretty good as you can see, we get behind there, and I actually made it even with the great ball. So that does kind of show you about my alignment, how much more I still need to offset that to the right. But you can see how I try to bend it around the pin as opposed to bring. So be very careful that you're paying attention to my side spin amount. Um, but the only thing that I have to do, I have to make a slight tweak. I got to get that um, initial setup just a little bit more towards the right, just a tiny bit. And then, you know, try to go for perfect ball. But keep in mind that I'm trying to bend it around the pin with just a little bit of left spin. So that's going to avoid it from slamming the pin. It's never going to hit the pin. It's always going to bend around and come back. Very similar to what you saw there. So hopefully you guys are able to do something similar. Good luck with that hole. I'll catch you guys on the next one.